This is Twit. Swiss, a Swiss company, now this actually scares the hell out of me, has developed a CPU from lab-grown human brains. What do you think? Uh, a computer that uses... Now, they aren't dead people, but they're, they've are they been growing brain cells. This is a, a Tom's Hardware story. It uses 16 human brain organoids for a million times less power consumption. This is how, by the way, we're going to get AI without a lot of power consumption than a digital chip. The Swiss biocomputing startup has launched an online platform that provides remote access to 16 human brain organoids. The company's called Final Spark. They say it's the world's first cloud platform delivering access to biological neurons. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, Looking up organoid. Organoids. Don't let uh, Ron DeSantis know about this because lab-grown meat is going to get banned in Florida. Why is he so banning lab-grown meat? I think he's just a true Americans believe in real meat from animals type of guy. <laughs> so bizarre. Our meat is so far from real anyway. I it's know. It in a lab. Okay, so it's called a MIA, M-E-A, cool. a multi-electroid array, which houses the living tissue organoids, 3D cell masses of brain tissue. Each MIA holds four organoids. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking nonsense. Each Mia holds four organoids interfaced by eight electrodes used for both stimulation and recording. Data goes to and fro via digital analog converters, the Intan RHS32 controller, with a seems like something Elon would do, with a 30 kilohertz sampling frequency and a 16-bit resolution. See, it's better than a CD. These key architectural design features are supported by a microfluidic life support system for the MIAs and monitoring cameras. Last but not least, a software stack allows researchers to input data variables, then read and interpret the processor output. I don't know whether to be terrified or to laugh. Is it like a lab-grown chip? I guess it could sells. It the chip shortage, then that it's brain could be cells. Good. Yeah, I think this thing will like. We're going to hear about so many different ways of like trying to continue to advance artificial intelligence. We're going to hear about the synthetic ways. We're going to hear about biological, a combination of biological and, and chips. Like they're almost all going to end up being nothing. But if one works, right. that's going to be cool. They say Maybe it's one six thousandth it. of the energy drain of uh, AI microprocessors. What did I say at the beginning? Once Silicon Valley has a problem, it gets creative and tries to figure out ways to do it. So forget nuclear, forget solar. It's that organoid lab-grown brain that's going to get us there. <laughs> Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.